Hello, I'm Elric Ferris and welcome back once again to the motherboards.org YouTube channel. A lot of comments I get and a lot of emails that I get through the personal messages are how do you determine on how do you buy a video card? Well, there are a few things to take in consideration. A, you're going to always probably have to take in consideration your budget because how much money you have is going to be a severe factor on how you can buy something. But there are some other things as well for you to consider. For one thing, if you have a very tiny monitor and your monitor only does 1280 by 1024 resolution, you going out and buying a $500 video card is completely off your rocker. It's like taking a V8 engine and sticking it onto a bicycle. Another question I get are the cards, the breakdown of them. How do you determine which one's entry level, which one's high level? Well, for me, an entry level card is any card up to $160. A card from $160 to about $220, maybe $230, that's going to be a mid-level card. High-end cards are going to be the cards are in the $280 to $340 range, and then you're going to have your extreme high-end cards, which are going to be $500 to $700. But the main thing is you need to determine, A, what type of games are you playing? If you're only playing Command & Conquer type games and MMO, those things online, just go on and hop on the multi multiplayer games, those games are not really too strenuous on your video card. However, if you're out there trying to play Crisis and all these other type of things, that is going to be a very strenuous thing for your card. So A, look what type of monitor that you have at your house. That's going to be the very first thing that dictates what type of video card that you get. Because if you only have a monitor that does 1280 by 1024, there's no reason for you to go out there and buy a card that does 2560 times 1440. I mean, you can get it, but you're going to have a lot of extra horsepower. So let's just break it down for you guys, okay? A, what type of games do you play? B, what type of monitor do you have? And what is the maximum resolution of your monitor? Also, are you using a single monitor or multi-monitor technology? If you're using multi-monitor technology, then the difference between one gigabyte and two gigabytes of RAM becomes a factor. If you're only using a single monitor, one gigabytes of RAM on most cards are gonna do you pretty well. And most people right now have a 22-inch monitor. 22-inch monitors, most of the resolution on those that you're going to get is not going to be that high. 1680 is the basic frame rate that you get when you talk to the people at Steam. Steam is claiming that the average gamer only has a resolution of 1680. So you just take that consideration. Almost all the cards that you're seeing now from both NVIDIA and AMD can easily cover this type of thing. So if you're out there looking for a video card, go out there and really determine what you need. Because if you're only having, like I said, a single monitor and there's not very much resolution that can be pushed onto that monitor, you can get away with getting a lower end video card. So right now, I'm just going to jump right into that for you guys. This will be our first intro video. I'll have a couple more on this. But for now, these are the things to make sure of. How big is your monitor? What type of games do you play? And what is your budget? And we broke down the different types of video card levels there are. So from there, you can take it from there, and those are the general guidelines on how you can make the decision of buying your video card. Thanks for watching.